Hello everybody, this is Sayyad Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today I am going to show you how you can give full screen video background using HTML and CSS3. As you can see here on this website, the video is playing in behind the scenes in the background and the text free stock video footage and these buttons and these all things are appearing on the on the top of this uh, video on the front of this video so we'll create a similar uh, video background to this web of, of this website but not exactly but we'll try to create a video background and we'll just give some content and some buttons so this is a beautiful website where you can find some free stock video footages uh, video uh, vide, <coughs> vide.net so here is the website and you can find this website in the description in the video description so on this website uh, I got this video and I have downloaded for uh, in my local host now we'll use this video uh, in our HTML file it is playing I have already downloaded this video now we'll use this so let's get started this is my HTML file and I'll take header first with the class V header with the class V header and we'll also give container inside this header we'll take one diff tag with the class full screen video wrapper right uh, inside this diff tag we'll take a video element let's keep the source empty for now because we need to give the file name the video name and we'll set autoplay equals to true uh, in my application folder I have downloaded this video which I have shown you on that web on that website red 40 dot mp4 is the extension so I'll use it here and after giving these all things let's take one header overlay header overlay well, the reason why I am taking this diff tag header overlay is just to display our content uh, on the front of this video on the top of this uh, video background uh, I'll show you how we can do that let's take one more diff tag and let's give class as um, header content and inside this uh, diff tag we'll take one h1 tag and let's say hello epicop right is my channel name this is my channel name and let's put some dummy, con uh, dum uh, dummy content lorem lorem epsom and let's take one button tag here anchor tag here and let's give class as button uh, you might have heard about Emmet. It's extension which you can download in Visual Studio Code or in other text editors as well. But in Sublime, uh, you can you have to download separately. But in Visual Studio Code, you have one option for installing in uh, for installing extensions. So I'll show you the Emmet abbreviation here. If you want to take one anchor tag with the class button then you need to give a dot btn then you have to hit tab it, it will create an anchor tag with the class button btn so let's give href here if you know if you want to more about if you want to know more about uh, emmet then you can watch my tutorial on uh, emmet i have shown all things about emmet how you can uh, boost up your workflow of HTML and CSS using Emmet using Emmet abbreviation so don't forget to watch my video on Emmet so here is the button which, which we have created let's say read more so we have created 
HTML part and we'll run this inside our browser to see the preview yeah it is working but you can see here the horizontal scroll bar is coming so we need to apply some CSS and also our content is uh, appearing below the video but we need this content on this video right so we we have to apply some CSS let's start with the border boxing part right box sizing border box so it will apply to all elements of this HTML page now let's take body padding 0 and margin 0 and also we need to give overflow X hidden right color should be white let's save this and let's see the preview uh, yeah you can see here horizontal scroll bar has gone away from our page and the video is up appearing clearly now we'll give styling to V header right so let's give dot here so it can understand this that this is a class right so we need to give height first 100VH right and we need to give something uh, some things like uh, padding it should be one rem and padding left and padding right padding left and padding right one rem right let's save this and let's see yeah uh, we need to give position absolute top 0 and left is also 0 let's see the preview on the browser no it is not uh, taking our CSS actually we need to remove these things yeah we need to remove these things uh, yeah I have given CSS here we need to give display flex right this these things we need to give here display flex means it will take uh, it it will become a responsive design for us align item center means it 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 align all items to the center and we don't need to give this color because we are giving in V header part let's save this and let's see the preview it is taking and right let's apply some CSS to the container maximum width should be 960 pixels uh, it is taking here 960 pixels right padding left and padding right should be one rem one rem and also we need to give text align center margin auto right let's save and let's see the preview margin auto okay all right we need to remove this I think so it is taking margin but right we need to give the width as well hundred percent and height should be hundred VH 
if you are not familiar with VH and VW then definitely you need to know more about viewport because this is the viewport height and viewport width which I am using in my CSS it is taking now and the maximum width here is 960 pixels so definitely I'm doing something wrong here let me check yeah actually I need to apply this CSS as well these things we need to apply maximum width should be 960 and padding left padding right should be one RAM margin auto and text align center let's save this and let's use full screen video wrapper because we have taken a video inside this wrapper full screen video wrapper so we need to give some CSS position should be absolute top should be set to zero left should be set to zero and what uh, what else we need to give here uh, I think we need to give width 100 percent height 100 VH let's save and let's run the preview yeah it is it is appearing full screen now we need to use the video part right inside this we have our video element so we need to give minimum height should be hundred percent and minimum width should also be hundred percent right inside this full screen video wrapper we have video element so we need to set the minimum height and minimum width to 100 percent and it is taking the full width and full height as you can see here and now we will use header overlay class header overlay class inside this and we need to use position absolute top 0 left 0 and we need to set height VH and width should be 100 VW viewport height right header overlay it is not appearing but it will appear we need to give background should be set to hash 225470 right let's save this yeah it is uh, our video background has gone away from this because we have given this and let's say opacity let's use opacity here 0 0.75 and Z index should be set to 1 as you can see here but it is not taking full height uh, I think we need to remove this not exactly uh, something we are missing here exactly we need to use this CSS the height and width should be set first right so I have saved this CSS this CSS I am applying here it is still not taking the correct size something we are missing let me check full screen video wrapper yeah I think we need to use this overflow hidden inside our full screen video wrapper let's save this yeah it is not taking now and our video is uh, playing 
background in a background so we need to use overflow hidden inside full screen video wrapper because it's a wrapper for a video definitely we need to use overflow we need to uh, we need to keep the overflow hidden okay so this is the way which we can play background video full screen background video now it's time for the content header content right so inside this header content we can use z-index2 because it should be appear on, on the front of this video as you can see here the text is appearing now on the screen and also we need to give some fonts a font size as well so we'll use this class header content first we'll take the h1 tag because that's our first element inside header content so let's give font size as 50 pixels let's save and let's preview yeah it is appearing in a large font mm, let's say header content of p let's say font size uh, like 25 pixels let's save this yeah it is appearing but our button is not uh, customized we, we need to give some custom CSS to this button to look uh, to look more appealing right so we need to use this header content class and inside this we can take a anchor ta anchor tag because we have give we have given anchor tag here and also we can use this class as well right inside this let's say background equals to hmm, slash 34 b 3 a o or 0 right let's save this and run we'll see yeah it is taking but we need to give some padding as well padding 1 rem right yeah it is looking more natural and more appealing now so using this method using this way you can give full screen video background using HTML and CSS3 and I hope it is clear and you can apply some more CSS to look more appealing in your cases but in my case I have used only some simple CSS so uh, I have applied CSS already and I have commented this CSS below my actual CSS here in this style.css file so you can use full you can give full screen video background in S uh, using HTML and CSS using this way thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to watch my tutorial on Ionic and ASP.NET Core you can find playlist and also I have playlist created on my channel for bootstrap 3 as well so don't forget to watch that please share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video